I'm on a quest to find the best D1 college basketball experience in Massachusetts, so I found myself at the Heart Center to watch the 4-14 and 14 Holy Cross Crusaders take on the 3-15 and 15 Loyola Maryland Greyhounds in a matchup of the bottom two in the Patriot League. The parking was right in the center of campus, it was right next to the Art Museum and the Heart Center, and there was plenty of it around, so it's going to get a 9 out of 10. Holy Cross is an absolutely gorgeous campus. Every building is beautiful and you can see all of it as you drive up to the Heart Center. So it's gonna get a nine out of 10. And right away I could recognize that this place was a little bit different than what we've seen so far. Maybe it was the Bob Cousy statue out front or the beautiful and clean entrance to the Athletics Hall of Fame down the hallway. Maybe it was the hockey rink that happened to be connected to this building. It's well lit, it's clean, it's got everything you can ask for, and it's getting a 10 out of 10 for the facilities. The stadium was bright and very well designed. I'm truly at a loss for words as to how much I liked being in this building. My only complaint with the Heart Center was that the score bug on the scoreboard was just a little small. So it's going to get a 9 out of 10 for the stadium. Despite students not being back on campus yet, the atmosphere in the Heart Center was electric. The stadium was probably only 50% full on this Saturday afternoon, but it was mostly full of alumni who all knew all of the things that the student section would do, and they were doing them anyways. One thing that I loved about the atmosphere was that they all came out and did autographs after the game. I've never heard of a team doing that, I've never seen a team do that, especially after a game. So that was a really nice touch. They were very enthusiastic when Holy Cross scored, and the only drawback was that they didn't get louder when Loyola was taking their free throws. They actually got as quiet as they did for their own team. So Holy Cross is going to get a 9 out of 10 for the atmosphere. The player intros did way more than I was expecting. They turned off the lights. They had a bunch of purple overhanging lights that they turned on. They played a video on the Jumbotron off to the side. It was way cooler than I was expecting. It's going to get a 7 out of 10. The jerseys honestly could have been better. Holy Cross actually needs more purple in their uniform for it to really stand out. Like a stripe down the side or some purple garnish somewhere on their uniform. As it is, it's kind of boring. Loyola was wearing these black uniforms with the green text and the green was very, very dark, making it tough to see sometimes. It wasn't the best in the world, it wasn't very noticeable, so they're going to get a 5 out of 10 for their uniforms. The student section wasn't there, and there were no band members anywhere, so they are going to be knocked a handful of points for that, but I'm going to give them some points back for that alumni section. They showed up and they showed out, and they're going to get a 3 out of 10 for the student section. Alumni were students once too. The seating was good, there was nothing really more to say about it. You had a great sight line everywhere, there didn't seem to be a really bad seat in the house. There was a railing a little bit further up, but when I sat behind it, it didn't seem to bother me that much. It wasn't anything like UMass Lowell's railing. So I'm going to give the seats an 8 out of 10. The concessions were cheap, they had some great options, they were fast, and everyone in the entire building was incredibly friendly, so they're going to get a 9 out of 10 for their concessions. While Loyola's Dion Perry was phenomenal, he had 26 points on 50% shooting, poor free throw shooting would prove to be their downfall. Loyola was unable to topple Holy Cross's strong offensive effort led by Will Batchelder and Caleb Kenny, as the Crusaders would cruise to a victory over Loyola, 86-78. All in all, Holy Cross and the Heart Center are going to take a commanding 11-point lead in the standings with a 78. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. If you're on YouTube, you can check it out down there. And if you are on TikTok, you have to go to my page to see the rest. But with that being said, my name is Ethan's Hardcap Games, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.